Hello everybody out there, Starship Equinox crew. Here I am with another helpful lesson to guide you through some of this cool stuff we're doing. Um, so on your Starship Equinox quest, you should have, I mean if you're watching this video, you've unlocked the Pocket Lab assignment. Well, let me show you how to do this. I gotta re-log in. Isn't that great? No, it's actually good because then it makes sure you are still you and not someone else. This is why, again, never share your password. So by now you might have tons of emails. You know, every time something new on Google Classroom happens, you get alerted. But you're looking for this one. If you can't see it at the very top, remember, searching emails is very helpful. And if you're searching for this one, you want to find Pocket Lab. So, yes, got it. Uh, Pocket Lab codes is the email. And it has the instruction. If you already read it because you are on top of your emails and making sure you don't fall behind, then you saw that it said, this is for the Adams assignment. Wait until you unlock that assignment before accessing your class Pocket Lab account. But now it's time to do it. So you're going to click on the link, and it says enter class code. I'm just going to double click and copy. That way I won't make any mistakes. All right, there's the class code. Then my name, oh look, it recognizes me, I'm test one. Then I want my student code, and I just double clicked and copied it. And then I'm going to continue with Google. As always, anything I tell you to do, if you uh, attach it to your school Google account, then it's single sign-in, and you're good to go. So there you go. Now you can look for your assignments. Okay, so the lesson should look like this. If you don't see this under Assignments, try this. Go ahead and log out. Click on Students, and repeat the process. Double-click the class code. See, this is good that you're watching this, because then you know how to fix if something doesn't work. Repeat this part again. Copy the student code. And I'm just doing Control-C to copy on my keyboard, Control-V to paste. This time, try sign in. Don't click continue with Google. If this shows you the assignment, then you're good to go. And you're going to click on the assignment because that's the one we're working on today. And it has everything you need to know right here. So your investigation question is how are atoms connected to create molecules? You're going to use a FET simulation to build several different mo molecules out of common elements. You're going to observe molecular structure, including different types and numbers of bonds. And you're going to discover and construct an explanation about how molecules are constructed. And if you open each one of these, it allows you to add a card uh, with different items that will help you learn and understand this. So they give you a little bit of background knowledge and then a figure of hydrogen and oxygen forming water. Now you've probably heard by now, as many students have, that water is H2O. And many of you know that H stands for hydrogen, 2 means there's two of them, O stands for oxygen, and there's one oxygen in the single molecule of water, the smallest piece of water. This gives you a molecular atomic way to look at it, including the electrons, how many neutrons and protons it has. So you're going to read about building single molecules, and then your FET simulation is right here. And it shows you how to take two hydrogens, one oxygen, to build a water molecule. Uh, and then this is where you practice. So this figure here demonstrates, and then this one here lets you actually do. So let's take a little oxygen 
atom, couple of hydrogens, and look at that. That tells us we have made water. Now we're going to try and make molecular oxygen. All right, molecular oxygen. Let's go to the next. Let's see. Oh, I can take one oxygen atom, put it next to another, and it bonds to form a molecular oxygen. If you click on 3D, it shows you a three-dimensional view of the molecule. And this one with the lines shows you how they are bonded together, what makes them actually connect to each other. I'm going to add that to my list. Now I need molecular hydrogen. Oh, look at that. They must bond together in pairs too. Let's add that to my list. So you get it. And um, this data table is going to help you see the connections between these single molecules. Uh, yeah, so the whole lesson is here. It'll take you on to the multiple. And it'll really help you start to understand and get an introduction to what are atoms, how do they connect, and what do they form. And yeah, you'll make your way to the conclusion. And once you get to the conclusion, that's when you'll be able to be done and turn in and complete this assignment. So jumping down, yeah, you'll have a paragraph to write with claim evidence reasoning to show me what you've learned. There you have it.